praise the lord welcome to the eighth day of our journey from wilderness to calvary my dear dearly beloved of god a small story is said about a little girl of age 12 who asked her father daddy what are you going to give me for my next birthday the father said let's see there's this there are still days to go and after that after a few days this girl fell sick and then she fell unconscious she was admitted in the hospital and the doctor who seen to her came out and told the family members that her heart is very bad and if not treated she will die the father went close to the daughter and the daughter said dada am i going to die and the father said no dear you will not die the daughter asked again how are you so sure that i am not going to die the father said i know well my dear brothers and sisters after two months this girl who was in the hospital taking care taking rest and recovering from the illness came home and saw a letter which was placed in the bed she read the letter and in the letter it was read my dear daughter you asked me what is the present that i am going to give you for your birthday i never knew that i am going to give you something precious and it is nothing but my heart my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus we hear in today's gospel jesus telling us if you then who are wicked and know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your heavenly father gives good things to those who ask him the father who gave his heart and lost his life and gave life to her daughter in a similar way jesus who hears our prayers who looks at our intention who looks at our good heart and good intentions definitely grants our request that's what we hear in the first reading taken from the book of esther esther who was married to a king but the king never allowed the queen to come into his palace without his permission morkidai a uh, officer who falsely accuses the jews saying that these jews are trying to dominate over the people of of his kingdom and then the king gets so angry and tells morkidai to kill all the jews that's where queen esther comes forward and then when she comes to know the pain or the death that is going to happen to the people of jews she falls down on her knees and prays to god asking for the strength to speak to the king to approach the king and make a request for the king, for the people of jews after a prayer she goes to the king and asks king to spare the lives of the jews my dear brothers and sisters the king comes to know the truth the wicked plan of morsidai the officer and then he executes him and saves the people of jews my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus god looks at the intention when we pray when we kneel god looks at our intention and the good that has got in that intention and accordingly he grants the request and that's what we find here the queen who was very happy in the palace if she could have been very well looked after herself and be proud of herself without taking any risk but she goes on to her knees because to save the people of jews from death my dear brothers and sisters whenever we pray god looks at our intention and our goodness for the things that we pray and that's why in the first letter of john we read chapter 5 verses 14 and this is the boldness we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us i repeat and this is the boldness we have in him we are all bold 
and we have an assurance when that when we ask anything according to god's will he definitely hears us my dear brothers and sisters and again we read in jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13 when you search for me you will find me if you seek with if you seek me with all your heart in the first letter in the first book of samuel chapter 1 verses 1 and following we read again a beautiful story of hanna who was childless and was looked down by her co-sister and hanna feels so bad that she has no children but later on when she goes on to her knees and prays to god god listens to her prayer and answers her prayer hanna never looked down or never complained or never said anything to her co-sister who was troubling her my dear brothers and sisters whenever we pray when our intention is right whenever we are praying according to the will of god definitely god answers our prayer let our prayers be selfless and good like the prayer of jesus who prayed in the garden of gethsemane saying abba father for you all things are possible remove this cup from me yet not what i want but what you want this was the prayer that jesus made when he was in pain when he was in suffering my dear brothers and sisters when we are in pain when we are in suffering when we are in need let our good and good intentions let our intentions be in tune with the will of god and thus we receive all that the god intends for all of us if you like this small piece of reflection kindly share like and don't forget to contribute your little might for the growth of this liturgy tv god bless you and have a wonderful day